Target.com, this time $35 and requiring uh, batteries. So, this is the Nerf Rival Charger. We're currently in a workshop I just finished building. Uh, it specializes in everything from resin to Besker steel. Like, we, uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape over here. That said, we'll be leaving it very soon. There were some complaints in the takedown video about audio quality and like dragging a lav mic and like blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, obviously, I'm not in my studio, guys. You want the news and time to make your holiday purchases or not? We're doing a video every day in December. Come on, cut me some slack. Speaking of cutting some slack, we're gonna cut into this thing. Uh, I do have a couple of compliments for Hasbro. First off, it comes with double the darts. Not advertising that, that's pretty cool, but it's a 12 round blast with this electronic p 90 s rival flywheeler. And um, this is a very recent, oh, oh, that's interesting. 95 FPS velocity is a sticker. So underneath though, if you guys check that out, underneath this, there's a 100. It's almost like somebody recently has been talking to Hasbro about how you can't lie to people, and they wanted to say 100 for this, but given that it's not compatible with the rival rechargeable battery pack, and only uh, can use alkaline batteries, of which we have a brand new pack over here, uh, it would seem that its average velocity is probably close to 100, but not quite. So. Uh, obviously, I don't have my chronograph here. I will be doing a chronograph kind of video blitzing this thing over to make up for that on my Instagram very, very soon. We'll be in Castle Dracula in only a couple of days, but uh, everybody who's put this over the chronograph has gotten a little under 100. Now, while it's capable of breaking that, it would be uh, disingenuous to give people um, this reading when your average is certainly in those uh, the mid to high 90s. So 95 is good. It's always better as a company if you're claiming performance to under promise and over deliver. So I'm glad that Hasbro took a big step back uh, there and I think that that is uh, noteworthy. So uh, on the other side, we just have this got a 12 round capacity, integrated magazine, which means no fooling with extra parts. Unfortunately, it means that your reloads will be slower. Got a rev, rev trigger, got a safety, got a main trigger, got a panel to open it up. But all of that will be easier uh, seen um, in the package. So let's go ahead, bust into our charger here. And I, uh, I'm really, I'm a well-documented um, disliker of the P90 in real steel. However, I think that uh, in Nerf, bull pups are usually pretty cool, and I'm a big fan of how they're, uh, they're implemented ergonomically. So, hopefully, this guy feels good, performs good, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. So, fully liberated, and unfortunately, Target.com only has these guys in blue, which is a real shame as we know that it is the less desirable and worst color pairing in the rival line. Phantom Core is okay, red is for winners, and this is uh, subpar at best. I'm, uh, I'm just teasing, they perform the same, they have the same guts, but like seriously, uh, Team Red or Team Dead. Um, so back here we've got the very traditional Artemis slide, pull that back and I do think that this is cool, the window here is large enough to load multiples in at one time, and then up here we've got a window uh, showing us a very standard set of rival flywheels. Uh, would be hard to clear jams in there, but you can definitely uh, get in in a pinch, which is what will happen to your fingers should you leave them in there. So, uh, releasing this, it does not auto retract. You're going to have to pull it all the way forward and all the way back. It seems like it kind of maybe it wants to. I don't think it wants to. Uh, it clicks there at the end, but. Uh, either the molding is a little too stiff, or the spring is not strong enough, or that was never a feature. And at 35 bucks, this is definitely a budget-style rival blaster. It costs less than your flagship stuff. I mean, these days, flagship rival electronic performance starts at $100. So this is a, a cheaper entry vector, perhaps competing with some of these uh, Powerball and X-Shot blasters, but it does feel good. I can say comfortably that the almost overtly rounded uh, shell lines here on the handle feel good. The grip reminds me a lot of the takedown in that way. Uh, it's a little cartoonish, but very nice on the polymer. And then our rev switch and our main trigger are, are pretty solid. They're the, the usual sort of accompaniments. Now, interestingly enough, 
The, uh, the safety here is ambi. Back is going to be trigger locked, nothing happening. And then forward is going to be trigger free. So like I said, six C batteries are going to be required. If you're picking one of these up for Christmas, definitely make sure that you pick up the accompanying batteries. And if you're uh, super duper budget conscious, <laughs> budget conscious, um, I don't like to edit these when I'm on the road because it's significantly more difficult to do without the PC. So just remember guys, Povey's perfect. Pronunciation is difficult. Um, but if you're budget conscious, keep in mind that uh, C batteries are both uh, not one of the, the usual garden variety drawer batteries and uh, tend to be a little bit pricey. So I would definitely say that you're, you're in it for five bucks, probably a little bit more if you're trying to get this guy fully loaded and powered up. So 35 retail, 40 when you consider that you're gonna have to drop some amount of money on the batteries. And as long as I'm shilling those last minute holiday purchases, uh, if you decide to pick up your batteries on Amazon or pick up anything on Amazon, uh, it's a really big help on the channel if you use that link down in the description box. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put a main Amazon link for any purchase and I'll also link specifically to Amazon Basics. Um, C batteries because honestly they ship prime and they're pretty good so that's two three let's start loading these two at a time four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and one of them should tease in there right twelve all right so holds twelve let's just figure this one out for the sake of completion uh, we'll hold 13, so that's not bad. Let's pull it all the way forward, rev it up. Takes a second to get up to speed. We've got one tactical rail up here for like, I guess a red dot. Uh, maybe a red dot, I wouldn't want to put a flashlight anywhere. This up here is okay for an offhand, but realistically, you're taking full advantage of this rounded off shoulder stock. That battery tray could be a lot tighter. That's a lot of rattle that's important to you. We're gonna gut this, of course, live on our Twitch, lipo it up and get it up to actual rival performance and power, but uh, for right now, let's fire off a couple rounds. Okay, trigger response is snappy, feels good. I don't wanna hit the form, so. All right, I love bull pups, guys, what can I say? Let's uh, take it outside, put a few down range, just shoot them off the balcony. I feel like I've got to. This is cool. All right, guys, so the wind audio is back, but I wanted to put a few down range, just kind of show you how floaty they are. Of note, this is actually a pretty good ammo indicator. I would not be surprised at all if modders who don't want to fully crack this open and do the lipo mod guide take like a Sharpie and make tick marks here for like where the orange follower would be uh, to tell them how many rounds they have remaining. So like a tick here would probably be about a seven or an eight, but I, uh, I like this. And I, I wanna say that like this is fairly priced for a um, pseudo primary kind of, I mean, you could definitely primary this, uh, rival electronic blaster. Um, it looks good. It should be team red, it would be better. But uh, overall very snappy. A lot of fun. I think that this is a winner and it's very, uh, very refreshing. I was a little worried about Hasbro. Uh, they committed some pretty egregious sins this year. They made a lot of stinkers. However, uh, here at the finish line, releasing these too early, the takedown's a great tactical shotgun. And this is a, this is a fun P90. Like, this is uh, pretty snappy, pretty cool. So uh, that's my review. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Tell me, uh, do you think that 35 realistically 40 bucks is fair for the, uh, the Charger? Because I think that this one's a winner. I'm actually a big fan. Well done, Hasbro. As always, much love. Nerf on, Drek out. Ah.